Uh, hey there. Um, this is a sandbox pinball game that I've been working on and I wanted to do a kind of a build video and just work on building a board with it just to kind of show how it works. So um, I'm going to start by building my pinball board with a nice alley just going up and I want to adjust the color. I'm going to go for this nice kind of orange. I'm in an orange mood today. And I know that if I go there it'll be too close, but right there there'll be enough room for the ball to go. And then I'm just going to leave a nice flat surface down here for the ball to sit on. And then I'm going to use a shooter. So a shooter is like the plunger thing you pull on a pinball machine. And this one you can set the size of it. Uh, and once you're happy with it, you can set it. And then you can use the space bar to interact with it. Let me change the, the color of that shooter. So I'm going to make the striker and the bar have a different color. And then if I uh, pull on it just a little, it just, you know, kind of gives it a little bit of oomph. But if I really pull it down a lot, then, oh wow, it goes right off the map. And you, you can see the rest of the map up here, right? So let's build a nice, like, alleyway up here. Oh, I like this color. So here we go. I don't have that color anymore, but let me go match it. Just take a second. There we go. Okay, great. And then I'm going to build this wall up a little higher. It's only 99 tints, so it's actually pretty easy to just kind of slide through until you find the right tint. Uh, just a little tip. I've had some good luck with that. All right, so then we're going to go over. Oops. There we go. We're going to go over there. And I had a crash on my last attempt at making this video, but hopefully we'll get through. It was a real obvious thing. Did I leave these two? Nope, that's fine. Okay, so let's see. And we can go into ball view, which will allow us to follow the ball. And we can kind of see, okay, yeah, it's looking really nice. So now we've got this nice kind of uh, area here. And one thing I would like to do, I think, is I would like to uh, just make a, a double, like a double choice, like a place where we can go in two different directions, because that's always fun. Um, so I'm going to do a similar thing that I did before. I'm just going to dump the player kind of straight down. And I'm going to try and get the width to be right. I don't know if that'll work. Let's just check it. Oh yeah, that'll work fine. And then... I'll just have a nice straight alleyway. Now let me save my progress. I'll call this demo. All right, great. So now I've got this nice straight alleyway and hopefully the ball will go, oops. Yeah, looks good. Looks like it's working. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use these nice little tools called a teeter-totter. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get it placed right. Ah, that actually looks perfect. And then the neat thing about this is, is it will direct the traffic. So half the time we'll go the left way, and half the time we'll go the right way. Um, and let me show you what I mean. So here, I'll follow the ball's motion, and I'm just going to shoot it, and we'll see that we go right. We'll go off onto the right side. But here, if I add another ball, and we shoot it, you'll see that I go off to the left side. And what that means is I can direct the flow of my game and the player gets a different sort of uh, experience depending on uh, where she shot the ball. So uh, let's do, let's do this. Let's, um, ooh, oops, that's too high. Let's build in a nice little, in fact, all of this looks bad. I really like things to, sort of line up nicely. It's very important to me. So uh, here we go. And that looks like it'll dump out right there. So it looks like I can channel this straight down there. Let's drop two balls just to make sure. One and back in that direction. Wonderful. And I probably won't need a guard wall, but I'm just going to build one in just because it's easy to do. I don't think that will cause a problem. Let's just make sure everything's flowing nicely. Yeah. So now we've got a nice sort of right path for it to go. And what I'd like to do with that, actually, is I'd like to, um, yeah, I'd like to just build this little feeder. So 
one neat thing that I like that you can do on this is that we can um, build these things called a turn cross. And it's a little tricky. No, that's one too far away. It's a little tricky to sometimes to get, for me, to get them perfect. But I think that's about right. Now, if I don't turn the motor on, they behave sort of like this. Yeah, that's pretty good. But if I do turn the motor on, like, real slow, something like that, then what can happen is the balls can stack up, but they won't go until, uh, until the turn cross is ready to move them. And it only moves one at a time. That's pretty good about not, uh, you know, not letting two through. So this is a nice sort of thing. We can limit a speed, right? We can kind of delay. So if we're doing a multi-ball game, uh, this might be a nice way to sort of um, not have a bunch of balls going at once. And it looks like I kind of didn't leave quite enough um, slope right there. But we'll leave it for right now. And then it'll just be a, a thing to fix later. Now, let's let's see if we can get fix it. So the problem is, is that it doesn't quite... Um, so it's pretty forgiving usually. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, that seems like that's gonna work really well. Let's see if it can resort these balls. I think it will. See, it kind of gives priority over the ball on top. Mechanically, it's kind of interesting. There we go, okay, great. So now we've got this nice little rate limiter here. And, uh, okay, so a nice thing I would think is just to, let's build a little um, bumper alley. So I'm gonna come over here, and I've got this nice area here. So I think what I'll do is, I'll just build a bumper in right there. And that should be just enough to kick the ball over to the side. Let's see if that works. Oh, that's a nice, that's nice. Okay, great. So, once we get the ball kind of over there and on a trajectory moving this way, we can speed it up by using a turn hammer. Now, a turn hammer is basically just an off weight, uh, just a hammer that's off weight. So, when the ball hits the bottom of it, it will send the whole thing kind of moving. So, let's see what that looks like. Here we go. I didn't delete the ball. I could have, but I don't think it'll hurt anything. But we should end up with, and I can adjust the, yeah, that's going to work nicely. And then we can move that over, right? So that's kind of a nice effect. Um, wonderful. So let's see. I wonder if I can get a nice angle on that and maybe even get it to go up. Let's see how that works. So now we've got our nice little rate limiter the ball. That's kind of nice. So maybe with a vertical wall we might be able to start to build an elevator. Uh, yeah, that's hard. Here. Let's work up here because this was a nice place for an elevator. So here's how we can make an elevator. We can just come down from here about three and about another three right there. And then we just build a bumper. So we start our, uh, the bumper's in the wrong place. There we go. So we build our bumper kind of right in the center, right there, just out to the edge. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It's gonna direct motion upward when the, uh, when the ball falls onto it. Oh, there we go. We're getting a little chaos down below. It's gonna direct the, the motion upward. Ooh when the ball falls onto it, like that, like that. And what we should be able to do is we should be able to build a wall kind of going up here. And then if we can just, let's see, this one goes off to the left. That hammer's having a good time down there. All right, nice. So what we can do is we can actually adjust the force 
of this all the way up and that will tend to kind of shoot it up really nice and high and then what we'll be able to do up here is just build a deflection wall that can push our ball off to the left. So let's see, we're going to have to wait for this one to go into that part and then here and then that pushes there. And let's build just a nice, because they're really satisfying. Now we're really not exhausting all of the potential of what we could do today, but at some point, you know, you get the idea. So I guess we've just got a dead area right here. Maybe that's somewhere we want to break open later, but I don't want this video to take all day. So I'm just going to add some nice bumpers. And then these are just the default um, force, but I could change the force of them. One nice thing about a bumper, the bumpers, is to change the hit color. So this second color is what will animate when the bumper gets hit. And that adds a nice kind of uh, effect. Oh, I almost forgot I haven't added the best part. We definitely have to break open that wall. All right, so now if I drop one of these, we're gonna get this nice kind of, and then, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really think very hard about this, but we definitely wanna break this wall open because there's one more kind of pretty important thing to look at. Oh, that, that looks bad. But let's make it a new area. Okay, there we go. And then we have, uh, we have paddles. So how should I add paddles? I guess I didn't really think very pinball on this. Um, okay, uh, so paddle. Maybe we want to just add them. Well, I'm just going to add a quick... Oh, here. Here's what we'll do it. Why don't we... Uh, why don't we open up this wall? We'll open up this wall. And then we'll only have this come down like that far. And then once you're in here, this will still be a dead area. Once you're in here, you'll have some flippers. I don't know if I can put them into the wall. Oh yeah, they work okay. Okay, so let's just build some flippers up. And these flippers uh, know which way they're facing, and they, they have a basic sort of a logic to them and a speed. So you can set their rotational angle and you can set their speed, um, and uh, they will generally work pretty well. Let's add some bumpers, just kind of like right down. Right, do I have a bumper on? Yeah, Ugh, it's so big. Just real little ones. Let's just add some real little ones. Now I'm probably not going to be able to get the ball back up, but if I could, maybe I could uh, bring it back over and get it into here somehow. But uh, let, let's just see how the, um, the game plays. So here we go, and I'm going to stay in game mode rather than um, zoomed in as the ball, because that's confusing for me. All right, so launching the ball. Here we go, we're into the alley, and that's gonna put us over on the right. So I'm gonna give us another ball, because it doesn't really do anything over there on the right. And here we go, and we're gonna enter the play area. Here we go, we're very excited with our paddles. Now, I, there's no guarantee this is gonna make it over there into that hole, so we might have a little bit of a, but I feel good about that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give us a ball because I feel like this is eventually gonna go. Oh, I almost had it. Come on, there we go. And now I can kind of start. Ooh, fun! And I can start playing up in here. There we go. Oh, here comes another ball. Oh, there we go. Ooh, fun! Ooh, I got it really high. There we go. So, uh, you know, kind of a crazy pinball machine. Probably not the, um, you know, the best anybody could come up with, but uh, it gives you sort of an idea of the flexibility of the system. 
and how it works and uh, what the plan is for the game. So uh, the mic to-do list, I guess, is up because of the recording software I'm using. So uh, that gives you an idea of sort of some of the goals. And uh, if you watched this far, uh, thanks for watching. Um, all right. Uh, have a great day.